We're solving multi-step equations with fractions. All right. So the steps are here. You've had these all week. Distribute, combine like terms, get variables together, undo addition and subtraction, undo multiplication and division. We're going to add in the clearing of fractions, which for us will happen right after step one. After we distribute, you're going to clear fractions. And we've practiced this a few times this year. <coughs> But it's a challenging concept for a lot of kids. So if we look at number two, we're looking for any common denominator that 5, 10, and 4 can all go into. Back up, you can always just multiply them. 5 times 10 is 50, times 4 is 200. You can use 200. However, there's a smaller one. They all go into 20. So 20 is the smallest number that we can use that they all go into. Now remember, this gets multiplied in all of our numerators. <clears throat> so we're going to do all the even ones together, and then you're going to do the odd ones on your own. So if we're multiplying 20 in the numerator, 20 times 4 is 80. So we have 80 over 5, minus 20 times 3 is 60, over 10x equals 20 times 7 is 140, divided by 4. Now we're going to divide these and it's going to work out to no fraction at all. It's just a whole number. 80 divided by 5 <coughs> is 16. 60 divided by 10 is 6. So we have 16 minus 6x equals 140 divided by 4 is 35. Okay, distribute none. Uh, clear fractions, done. Combine like terms on the same side, done. So now we are get the variables on the same side. Oh, that's already done. Undo addition and subtraction. So here we have to get rid of 16. Now I see the minus after. I've seen a lot of kids that are like, oh, let's add it because there's subtraction. But the 16 is positive. If I add another 16 to it, it's going to be 32. We're trying to zero it out. So we're going to subtract 16 from both sides. The minus goes with the 6x. So these cancel. We have negative 6x equals 35 minus 16 is 19. And then you just got to divide by the negative 6. Nothing goes into 19 and 6. So we just leave it as a fraction, negative 19 sixths. That wasn't too bad, right? Let me double check. All right. Let's try number four. So again, we're looking for a common factor that all these denominators can go into. Five, two, and ten. They all go into ten. Do they all go into, if we multiply them together, that would be a hundred, right? And we only need to worry about the denominators, so we don't even need to worry about that big four there. But Again, we could use 100, we could use 1,000, but we're going to use 10 because it's just smaller and easier to work with. And if you multiply by 10, you're just putting a zero on something. So up top, 10 times 6, 60 over 5x. Here we just have to do 10 times 4, which is 40, minus, this will give us 90 over 2. And then this would give us negative 210 over 10. So we'll divide these now. 60 divided by 5 is 12. 12x plus 40. Half of 90 is 45. Negative 210 divided by 10 is negative 21. So you know that we're going to combine our like terms now. On the left side, that's going to be the positive 40 and negative 45. If you have $40, but you owe someone 45, you're short $5. So we have 12x minus 5 equals negative 21. Undo addition and subtraction. Minus 5, we got to add it to get rid of it. 
12x equals negative 16. And then we'll have to divide it by 12. Now this won't divide evenly, but we can simplify that fraction. What goes into 16 and 12? 4 goes into both of those. 4 goes into 16 4 times, 4 goes into 12 3 times. So we have negative 4 thirds. Not bad, not bad. All right, on to number 6. <coughs> So here is our first time where we have to distribute. So we're going to do that first. When you multiply a whole number by a fraction, it just goes in the numerator. So negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. So we have negative 8 fifths x. Here we have a negative times negative. That's going to switch it to positive. 2 times 1 is 2, so it'll be 2 fourths. That's all we've done so far. Now, if you'd like, you can simplify that 2 fourths to 1 half. You don't need to. You could, though. <coughs> Let's kind of just leave it how it is. Now, so we're looking for a number that 5, 4, and 10 all go into. They all go into 20. Do they all go into 6,000? Yeah, they do. We could use 6,000. But 20 is the smallest one that all these denominators go into. So we're going to multiply it up in the numerator. So we'd have negative 160 over 5x plus 40 over 4 equals negative 180 over 10. So let's divide all these. This comes out to negative 32x, 40 divided by 4 is 10, negative 180 divided by 10 is negative 18. Great, we're to a two-step equation now. I see plus 10, let's minus 10. Negative 32x equals negative 28. And we'll go ahead and divide by that negative 32. Now a negative divided by a negative I know is positive. Anything go into 28 and 32? They're both divisible by 4. 4 times 7 is 28. 4 times 8 is 32. So we have x equals 7 over 8. 7 eighths. Pause whenever you need to here. That's the beauty of videos. Let's try number 8. Alright, nothing to distribute on number 8. <coughs> <clears throat> so we need a number that 4, 12, 8, and 2 all go into. You can multiply all of those together if you'd like. Huge number, but they would all go in there. They also do go into 24 as well. So we can just use 24. 24 times 3 is 72 over 4. 24 times 13, I don't know that one. Just had my calculator somewhere. There it is. Uh, 24 times 13, 312 over 12 x equals 24 times 5 is 120 so we have 120 over 8 x plus 24 times 3 is 72 over 2 we'll simplify all of these 74 or 72 divided by 4 is 18 minus I don't know what 312 divided by 12 is 26 x. <clears throat> 120 divided by 8 is 15 x and then 72 divided by 2 is 36. So now is our first time where we have to get the x's on the same side. I always prefer to get rid of the smaller one but that's just me. So the smaller one is negative 26 x. So we're going to add 26 x's to both sides to cancel that out. Because negative 26 plus 26 is 0, so we just have 18 equals 
15x plus 26x is 41x plus 36. You know we're getting rid of that plus 36 by subtracting 36. <clears throat> 18 minus 36 is negative 18 equals 41x. Now we just have to divide by that 41. And 41 is prime, so only 1 and 41 go in there, so we can't simplify this at all. Negative 18 firsts equals x. There we go. Eight, two more. Number 10, look at us, we're having so much fun. OMG, that's a Katy Perry song. 3, 2, 12, 6, 4, 2, ugh, a lot. Now, 3 goes into 12, 2 goes into 12, 6 goes into 12, 4 goes into 12, and 2 goes into 12. We can use 12. <clears throat> 12 times 11, 132 over 3 minus 12 times 5 is 60 over 2x minus 12 times 13, 144, 156 over 12. Another 12 times negative 13, negative 156 over 6x. Uh-oh, I'm running out of room. 12 times 7 is 84 over 4. And 12 times 3 is 36 over 2x. Ooh, barely. Let's simplify all these. 132 divided by 3. 44. 44 minus 60 divided by 2 is 30. 156 divided by 12 is 13, negative 13. Negative 156 divided by 6, I believe, is 26, negative 26. Negative 26x, 84 divided by 4 is 21, 36 divided by 2 is 18. All right, all right. We've got to combine some like terms. On the left side, this is our only x, so we can't do anything with it. But I can do 44 minus 13, that's just 31. On the right side, we have some x's to combine. Negative 26 plus 18. 18 minus 26 is negative 8. And we have that minus 21. So we could get rid of either x. I personally would get rid of that negative 30x by adding 30x. Negative 30x plus 30x is 0, so we have 31 equals negative 8x plus 30x is 22x minus 21. Minus 21? Oh, wow, we'll probably add 21. Whoa, look at us. 52 equals 22x, and we're having fun. Now we just divide by our 22. Now those are both even numbers. I know I can cut them in half. Half of 52 is 26. Half of 22 is 11. And I don't know anything that goes into 26 and 11, so I would be done at that point. All right, and then this one pulls out all the stops. Number 12. We got to distribute. Wow. <clears throat> now we're multiplying in a fraction. That's actually the lead, like, that's not too bad. You just multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators. So numerator, we have negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. Denominator, 3 times 3 is 9. All right, now we have a negative times negative. I know that's plus. 2 times 1 is 2. 3 times 2 is 6. So plus 2 sixths x. We'll bring down the rest of this stuff. 
<clears throat> now again, you have something you can simplify, the 2 over 6 right here, you can simplify that to 1 third. It's not going to make a difference here. All of these go into 18. So we're going to multiply by 18. It'll all simplify out at the end. 18 times negative 4 is negative 72. 18 times 2 is 36. 18 times 11, I don't know. 198, I think. Alright, 18 times 2 is 36. And 18 times 5 is 90 over 6. So these will all simplify now. Negative 72 divided by 9 is negative 8. Uh, 36 divided by 6 is 6x. Six 198 divided by 18 is 11x. 36 divided by 9 is 4. 90 divided by 6 is 15x. So, we have to combine some like terms. On the left side, I see a 6x plus 11x. 6 plus 11 is 17x. And we have the minus 8. Over here, you can't combine anything. 4 minus 15x. If you want, you could rearrange that and make it negative 15x plus 4. Doesn't matter. I would get rid of that minus 15x by adding 15x. This would give us 32x minus 8 equals 4. Ooh! Let's add the 8, huh? We'd have 32x equals 12. Let's continue over here. 32x equals 12. Whoop. And then we just have to divide by 32. Now both of those are divisible by 6. Or sorry, 4. 4 goes into 12 3 times. 4 goes into 32 8 times. Look at that. We have half of the joke worksheet already done and we're having fun